We all know there's a lot of apps available for our phones, but a new music app created by a local musician is finding huge success after a recent pilot program. Now it's expanding nationwide in a way the creator never imagined at first. Yeah, as Lee Vitto explains, those with a life-changing medical diagnosis are now singing its praises. It's something that I can do that's fun because there's so many things I can no longer do. Composing music from the comfort of her couch is quite the change for Lisa Lind. Instead of an app on her iPad, she used to play the French horn and piano in symphonies. But more recently, suddenly while playing piano at home, she noticed something was wrong. About a year and a half ago, I was having trouble playing scales and stretching my hands far enough to play chords. And that was really weird. And then I started having trouble lifting things with my arms. Lisa has ALS, the progressive disease that attacks muscles in a person's body. It takes away the person's ability to walk, talk, and eventually breathe. The life expectancy is about two to five years, and um, there is currently no cure. I've had a lot of different things happen in life, so I've learned to make lemonade out of lemons. So I don't know, it might hit me at some point, but so far, I. I'm actually having a really good time. Lisa credits her focus on the positive in large part to the classes she regularly takes through Creative Pursuits, a new program offered by the ALS Association. You can keep layering and adding to it very, very quickly. Around the same time the classes started last fall, Michael Kane, musician and professor at McPhail Center for Music, was launching his Equay app, which he and partners have been working on for years. You can make it six, up to 16 bars. Allowing anyone, from amateur to um, professional musicians, so to compose their own music. Like the idea that a beginner in music can, as a beginner, make and create their own music, as opposed to the pedagogy for many years was, oh, you want to get to your own music? Okay, study the instrument for 12 years, develop technique, learn the theory, learn all the repertoire that's out there, and then at the end of that, we'll let you play. We want to flip that. More than three decades in the music industry, working with artists from Missy Elliott to Bobby McFerrin, Kane and his team pulled together more than 50 musicians traveling to Germany, West Africa, New York, L.A. to record each note for the app from more than 150 different instruments. Let me add a piano. From young users playing around to professionals composing, Equay offers musicians a chance to create, share, and record, but also learn about instruments from every corner of the planet. Kane says what makes Equi unique from other apps is the chance to read and teach about the instruments being played. If you hit this little arrow button, you get some cultural and historical context of what they are. The ease of a phone or iPad touchscreen also led to a successful regional pilot program with the ALS Association. Now both Creative Pursuits Zoom classes and the Equi app are being made available for free to anyone living with ALS nationwide. I can share via email a composition I've created, and then that person can also go in there on the same thing and tweak it, and we can work together and create something together. When I was working with some of these students for the ALS classes, um, I was just blown away with the stuff they just, like, you know, the next class, they were just bringing these, like, really nice compositions. The fact that Equay has been able to be successful with folks that are, uh, in some cases, losing use, use of their hands and, and other uh, types of experiences is incredibly gratifying. For Liz Stanley with the ALS Association, this is all part of fulfilling the vision of the late Ken Baltus. Before passing away from ALS, he set out to improve the lives of those impacted by the disease in any way possible. His goal was to bring creative opportunities to all people living with ALS so that they may live fully even as the disease progresses. For Lisa, that goal becoming her reality hits just the right note. Because I'm not terribly ill yet, it's pretty fun. Leah Bino, Fox 9. In a few days, some of the key contributors of Equay will gather at McPhail for a free concert to show off what the app is capable of.